Here I am in the last of the light. I should have done this an hour ago when the sun was a little bit higher. But anyway, um, I want to do an update about the anime I'm watching this spring, spring of 2024, the spring anime season. Because I've already made some decisions about dropping some things. And I'll make another video explaining why I dropped certain anime. So here is the rundown. On Sundays, Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night, I'm keeping it. Tornari no Yokai-san, I'm keeping it. Uh, Go Go Loser Ranger, I'm keeping it. Uh, Grandpa and Grandma Turn Young Again, I'm keeping it. As a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world, I'm keeping it. And uh, Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, Season 2, Part 2, I'm keeping it. So, Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night, Tornado no Yokai-san, um, I think those are two really, really good, interesting new anime this season. Um, Go Go Loser Ranger is just a kind of fun take on the, you know, five heroes who fight the monsters, but actually there's a dark side to them and they're not really heroes and the monsters are actually the heroes. It's it's um a, a pretty fun anime. I like how it's been set up. Um, Grandma and Grandpa Turn Young Again. This is just my light comedy anime for this season. Um, as a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll try to use, I'll, I'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world. This is my, you know, reincarnation isekai anime, but the main character is not overpowered, just has this appraisal skill and can judge other people. So I'm bored with the overpowered main character trope. Um, sometimes I like it, but it's used a lot and it takes away a lot of the tension and a lot of the fun. Um, and then Musho Kutensei, I'm just following this. I love it. Um, I've continued following it since it started. So now I've already dropped Vampire Dormitory. I watched one episode and I thought this isn't for me. So that's one that I've dropped that I never really got into. Now Mondays, only one anime I'm keeping, Train to the End of the World. This is another one that I think is very special this season. It's like a Ghibli movie, like um, Sento Chihiro, Spirited Away, meets Kiki's Journey, or Made in Abyss, but without as much horror. Although there is horror, they do find some pretty freaky things. Um, but I've dropped Chillin' in Another World with level 2 super cheat powers, because that's the overpowered main character trope again. Plus, it's... Seems like a harem. Some characters are in love with him. And, um... Oh, there is one character that he... He is kind of married to. And he seems to be um, committed to that. Which is something I saw before in um, Banished from the Heroes Party. I decided to live a chill life on my own in the countryside. Um, but this one... It's just not holding my attention. And reluctantly, I'm dropping God's games we play. <clears throat> and um, I'll explain more about that in another video. Now, moving on to Tuesdays. I'm, right now, I'm not keeping anything from Tuesdays. I dropped the banished former hero lives as he pleases. Um, the same thing, overpowered main character inconsistent storytelling, no real sense of tension. The I feel like the character starts off and doesn't earn what he gets. So that one is dropped. Um, I was reincarnated as a seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. I've also dropped that. Um, you know, I might come back to the ones I dropped and just see if they win me over. But right now, I'm not planning to follow it. And then I'm dropping Re-Monster. Such a disappointment. Overpowered main character, not earning the abilities he has. And I've heard that the manga has a much slower start and explains the backstory more. So this is another case of the anime leaving stuff out of the manga or the light novel and just um, accelerating storylines. It's just in a rush. But I'll talk about Re-Monster in another video. Now moving on to Wednesday, I'm keeping Konosuba, God's Blessing on this Wonderful World Season 3, 
because I'm following that. It's great. It's entertaining. I love it. I love the characters. Um, I'm keeping the many sides of voice actor radio. I've only seen two episodes, but the second episode delivered what I wanted. The, the, the background of this industry, how they, they really want to have a breakout role so they can, um, build their fan base. Um, there are tiers of payment and, um, it's easier when you're new because you're cheaper, but when you, as you stay in the industry, your rates go up, but unless you've established yourself early, you might not be able to have a fan base that will attract producers. Um, the whole thing about singing and performing on stage and being an idol as well as a voice performer. So, um, yeah, I have high hopes for this one, the many sides of voice actor radio. Now, I finished The Grim Variations. That was a Netflix series, only six episodes. I have another video explaining how I felt about that, but um, I got a few comments that suggest I should re-watch episode four and look at it differently. So, I might re-watch episode four, although I think I got all I needed from it on the first viewing. But anyway, that's Wednesday. Thursday, I'm still finishing up Delicious in Dungeon. <clears throat> now, there's another anime called A Condition Called Love, and I saw another episode today, and that one is right on the edge. I might drop it. Um, the boy fell in love with her because she shared an umbrella with him, but they never spoke before. They didn't know each other before. The girl um, doesn't really experience emotions like that and isn't sure what love is or how it should feel, but she gave in to his advances and decided for a trial period to date him just to see if she could discover those feelings and, and, and whatnot. And slowly, she's kind of understanding, you know, this feeling I have, maybe this is love, or that feeling I have, maybe that is love, this is all so new to me. But why does he like her? So looking at um, something from last season, um, Sign of Affection, um, the girl is deaf, and this is her first time being outside of a deaf school and attending university, which has, was full of hearing people. And everything is new for her. Everything's exciting for her. She wants to try everything. She's very fearless. Um, and we slowly learn why the guy is interested in her, but I root more for the childhood friend than the main guy. But her reactions, and it's told from her point of view, um, I think she's a much more compelling character. And looking at other, you know, anime with romantic storylines like The Dangers in My Heart or Kimi ni Todoke or Toradora, um, we slowly see why the two characters like each other, what they like about each other, and how it builds up to them dating. And um, I mentioned in my previous video about my spring season, um, Skip and Loafer. Um, the main girl here reminds me of um, the girl from Skip and Loafer. But we get to know more about what's going on in the boy's head, and we can slowly see that he likes her, and there are things about her that, that he admires, but then his feelings are kind of switching towards something deeper. And for her, she's never really thought about dating. She doesn't really know what it is to be in love or date anyone. But um, she does recognize her feelings. So I think Skip and Loafer is a much better anime if you want this kind of a storyline. So um, A Condition Called Love is right on the edge. And I might drop it. I'll give it one more episode. Um, um, laid Back Camp Season 3, I still have to catch up on Season 2 and all of the extra things and the movie before I watch this, so that's another one on Thursdays. Moving on to Friday. Um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime Season 3, um, that's one I've followed for a long time, that's returning, so I'm following it again, I still love it. Um, Astronaut, this retro 80s, 90s style of animation, um, the story is developing well, there is a... Uh, uh, a, a storyline going on that we're slowly uncovering, and some characters have their own things going on, so that's interesting. Um, an Archdemon's Dilemma, How to Love Your Elf Bride. This can be my light romantic comedy for this season. Um, Windbreaker, keeping that too. A Salad Bowl of Eccentrics, keeping that too. 
Um, so nothing dropped on Fridays. So Saturday, I haven't checked to um, um, Yatagarasu, the raven does not choose its master. And I haven't checked Kaiju Note 8. Now, Kaiju Note 8 is on Netflix with English subtitles. So I'll probably watch it there. And it's easy to binge on Netflix here in the living room where I can just watch it on TV. So those who I haven't checked yet. But I dropped um, Apartment, Good Lighting, Angel Included after one episode. It wasn't interesting to me. So I'm following 16. And one is carried over from winter of 2024. Um... And of those 16, four are returning. And one of those four I have to catch up on, laid back camp. Now, I finished one. I finished um, the Grim Variations. So I've already finished one anime from this season. But I've dropped in total seven anime. And there are two that I haven't checked and I might follow. But I'm following 16 and one of them I have a lot to catch up on before I can start watching the new offerings. So I've got a pretty full plate for for this, this spring season. So I dropped Vampire Dormitory. I dropped Chillin' in Another World with level 2 super cheat powers. I dropped God's Games We Play. I dropped The Banished Former Hero Lives As He Pleases. I dropped I Was Reincarnated as a... Seventh Prince, so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. I dropped Re-Monster, and I dropped Apartment Good Lighting, Angel Included. Now, there are probably other really good anime this season that I haven't checked. Like, in fall of 2023, just, I needed something to watch, because I had lots of free time, and most anime had finished, and the new season had started, so I, I just decided to watch Shangri-La Frontier, and I realized it was awesome. So, you know, I might come back to some that I just skipped past visually when I was um, looking through the offerings. But 16 is a lot to follow, but um, the middle of the week is when I can catch up on things, because Monday I'm only keeping one, Tuesday I'm not keeping any, Wednesday there are three, Thursday there are three. But um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there are a lot to watch so those will spill over during the rest of the week so basically that's my update on what i'm watching this season um i'll make another video explaining why i dropped the ones i dropped because um there are some problems with some anime that i i've seen before like with re monster um, it reminds me of several anime, and some of them just didn't come out right. They weren't executed well. So I'll, I'll put that in another video, but thank you for watching. That's my update on the spring 2024 situation so far. I'll put all of the anime that I'm following and that I dropped in the description so you can read them there. Um, and if you're watching any of them, let me know what you think. Um, if you feel the same way as I did, you kept them or you dropped them, let me know what you think too. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's getting dark.